Hi guys, it's SSF here with an interesting return, turning of a familiar game. You guys might remember last Super Bowl Sunday, because guess what guys, it's Super Bowl Sunday once more, and you know what that means. Yep, it's time for me to suck at this game. You know, Troy Aikman, NFL football. So, unfortunately, I did do a previous take of this. Um didn't go quite according to plan because quality ended up being very poor and honestly I don't even know how well the quality, quality will be for this. I'm hoping it's better though but what I'm going to do is one thing I did learn in the previous game is I'm going to lower the difficulty because I am really tired of the of the uh, constant interceptions which you guys are not going to be able to see. If you're really curious on what the score was I lost uh, 37 to 7. Uh, yeah, it's quite poor. But now we get to this. Fortunately, we're not gonna. It wasn't that good of a video anyway, because it took me like a good. Oh god, it took me like a good seven, eight minutes to even get going with the game, because I couldn't quite. I was figuring out the controls. I was getting errors like crazy. And who knows if the quality will even go well on this? I, like I said, I, chan I didn't even realize I had the quality all the way up on Procaster. So. Here's hoping it's better, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, hi. So I picked the Broncos and the... Ooh. Suddenly I have control over my character. Suddenly I have control over my character. Okay then. I have no way to explain that whatsoever. You know? Ready, set, green. But you know what? I'm just glad I have control. And already, this is not going well. Actually, I kind of don't, still. What is even going on with my game? I just... It's like I kind of had control, but I kind of don't. There's an injury on the field, which is interesting. But yeah, the previous game was not that good. <laughs> I'm still quite curious as to what the hell's with the controls. And why I still seem to be struggling controlling my characters. But, uh... At least, you know... My team's not doing that good. They're, they're, the other team's not doing that good, though. They didn't even get a single pass off, so... Not that I'm going to do any better, mind you, but... At least the, the difficulty will be more accurate, you know? And apparently they went for a field goal there, and it was good. So it didn't matter anyway, because they still managed to get a field goal. And it hasn't even, they've only been, in, it was only one possession and already they've scored. This is already starting to turn badly. Also, I just now realized my mic was a bit up, so you might not have been able to hear me as clearly. I am really doing good, guys. I am on a roll, ladies and gentlemen. I'm also amazed that I even got that far. <laughs> I'm just hoping that this time, I don't know how... Now suddenly I have no control again. Alright, whatever. But, uh, yeah, that was actually a great first down. I needed that. I need, I, it's not that bad this time. Like, I'm not worried, because the game just started. But I picked five. Okay, let me explain about the quarters. They're typically 15 minutes long. But what happened was, okay, I guess I don't have control. Or do I have control? Oh, crap. Oh, you are kidding me. Right there. I don't understand the control. Like I, I didn't. I guess that one player coach thing was all that mattered. That was a nice catch. Um, 22 yard gain as well. But um, yeah, guys. Uh, a quarter tends to go for 15 minutes. However, because of how long. The game goes just 15, like, for 5 minutes. It's essentially 15 minutes. 
Honestly, 15 minutes tends to equate to 30 minutes on a uh, Super Bowl or on a regular quarter. Oh, yeah, it was out of bounds, so it wouldn't have mattered. Even if they did intercept it, it would have been out of bounds, so it wouldn't have counted. I really don't understand why. Oh, crap. Out of bounds. Ah, <laughs> oh, that could have been a touchdown. Oh, crap. Alright, this is not going according to plan at all, and not to mention it's fourth down, so... But fuck it, we're going for it. Oh my god. Well, on the plus side, on the plus side, they are not that far in... Well, they kind of are, actually. Ooh! Oh, wow, what a play that was. So if you haven't noticed, I would definitely say that the competition has definitely become more even. Definitely. I mean, there's still plays like that, mind you, but it's definitely... It seems to me like things are a little bit more even than they were before. Just wish I could figure out why the controls are still so awkward. I just don't understand why I have no control. Like, you could see the arrow just zooming around for no reason. I think I had an incomplete pass. I'm just not going to bother with the controls, because right now I just want to get this uh, video dealt with, because I want to get to bed soon, so I can be sure to be up in time for the Hedgehog stream. Hedgehog Day stream is supposed to be doing tomorrow, so... He did not get anywhere, but it didn't matter because he still got the first down. I think they would have gone for it even... I think they still would have gone for it even if it, if it was fourth down, so... They still aren't getting that far, though, I might add. They are not getting that far at all. Like, they're going very slowly... They're panicking quite a bit, though, if you haven't noticed. See, I think it's because we just keep busting through their defenses so much, and they're just not... Interception! Nice! Nice move there. Now they get denied of any points whatsoever. Perfect. And they almost got it right back again, actually. Which would have been quite costly, because then they would have had a first down again. And I don't want to give them any first downs. Ready, set, red, 44, hike. Nice pass there. Oh, but it looks like a uh, Seahawks player got injured there. But we got a really nice play there, so hopefully that you know Seahawks player does well. You know, gets better. You know, it gets better soon and gets well, but... Another big play. Not bad at all there. Alright, let's try that. See how we go with that play. Of course, I'll call another audible, because I'm weird like that. And yet another first down. That's three first downs in a row, guys. This is looking quite promising. Know that I've been very lucky, mind you, considering... It seems to me like it thinks... S is actually the, uh... Button. Oh, crap. End zone. Ooh, he could have gotten it. He had a shot. 
But alright guys, we got another chance. There's a nice advancement right there. We get at least a little closer. But we really need to get some yards here. Oh, it's out of bounds. You know what? Gonna go for it. Could go for the field goal, but I've been quite aggressive here. I'm probably gonna regret this, I'm sure. Nope, touchdown. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a game. So it is now 63, looking more than likely to be a 73. Or I could just accidentally call a two-point conversion and get a sack. That could happen, too. I think the uh, quarterback got injured, too, which is not good. I hate how the buttons... Boy, I really wish that he... Uh... Oh, boy. This could go badly. Oh, we called a touchback. That's interesting. A touchback is essentially when you just, you know... I wouldn't say he called a touchback, but he just, I guess he called it, he put his knee on the ground to indicate he, that he wanted not, he didn't want to return it, I guess, I don't know. That was an immediate stop right there, though, but he got a nine-yard gain somehow, I don't even, that did not look like a nine-yard gain. That really looked more like a two-yard gain, at most. BAM! That sack! That made up for the yardage they had just gained. Yeah, it seems to me like they think the... You know what? The game seems to think those buttons are entirely different, so really quickly, I'm going to look at the buttons again. So down a lot. So, you know what? I'm going to set the keys for up, down, left, and right for this game to be... A bit different. So maybe that way it'll fix the controls a bit. I don't know if it will, but... I don't know if it will, but I'm hoping. No, it still thinks the WASD buttons are... I don't understand why the controls are doing this. I don't understand. It's like it thinks I'm like it's not recognizing anything. Oh wait, this is where it's recognizing this like it's recognizing this. Oh, and that's why look at this, there's conflictions right here. Down and left are acting up. W and D are yeah, S, A, and D are entirely different buttons. So, wait a second. Let's make Z... Let's see. Z will be X. So, I'd go A, B, X, wouldn't I? So, so it'd be A, B, X. Alright. Then, Y, I would put at F, L, Q, R, E. And then set, whoop, set keys, wait a second, W, oh, hang on, I finally figured out the, what the problem was, so, uh, okay, um, I'm just baffled though as to why I'm not able to If you haven't noticed I did set the controller on here. And as you can see it does recognize That is so strange. I'm I'm just gonna have to figure that out. Maybe one it has to be 
It just seems silly to constantly... At least now the controls should be working. Now they should be working. Yep, look at that guys. It feels so good to have the controls working. Wonderful. Good timing too, because I think shit's about to get real again. <laughs> so I finally sorted out that problem. Sorry it took a, sorry for the inconvenience there, but <laughs> I still gotta figure out why I'm not able to use input two. I guess input 1 is the default, so, ooh, is that a sack? That was just about a sack, I think. I should also test to make sure the C button is the the, alt, the third option. But I think, judging by the fact that I'm actually able to move my, my player freely, oh shit. That's the biggest play I think I've seen my opponents pull off. I'm so used to hitting the Z and X buttons as if they were my only buttons. But as you can see, I'm actually be able to do more here, so... They got seven yards there. Yep. Forgot I set F button to that. <laughs> so the F button does indeed work, guys. <laughs> Which I am very glad on seeing. I'm not glad on seeing, however, my opponents getting into the red zone like they have. So now I'm actually able to call the third set of plays, like which I couldn't do before, and perhaps it might have been part of the reason I lost that game, that mystery game you guys weren't able to see. And there's a touchdown, so this game is quite interesting, I might add. I wonder if I could actually... The thing is, you don't get a whole lot of time to run around, so I think it probably would have been wise to just move over there immediately and... You know, but... Yep, they got the touchdown, so it is now 10-6. to six. <clears throat> Another thing I might add, I should be able to control... I do better on the kickoffs as well, considering, like I said, I have more free reign over where I'm going. But now it's actually a very nice return. So I'll call this. Ready, set, nice catch there. Made a very uh, needed a uh, first down. So I need to stay in this. Ready, set, it's gonna be a pass, but it's going. In. Yep, I knew it. Intercepted. It just isn't a game without me getting intercepted, intercepted at some point, is, isn't it? Go figure. But, uh, yeah. Oh, you were running, huh? Ooh! Bam! Another missed fumble. Boy, oh boy. Defense, Donnie. Yeah, there you go. He had the, we rushed him. I gotta say, we are doing, like, if you guys had seen the first, that previous, that failed attempt before, it wasn't going as well. And there was a nice loss of yardage they received there. That's pretty much going to take them out of field goal range if they weren't in it to begin with. So, they are going to be punting. I'm going to go back because of this. I have no idea where I need to land. Oop. Oh, shit. Went out of bounds, which just means they're going to default it over to the 20-yard line. Which isn't a huge problem, I might add, but, you know. You can throw it. There you go. Nice first down. Just gotta keep that up. Alright. 
Let's keep this up. So. Oh wow, you're dude. You were wide open there. You could have possibly gone all the way if you had caught that. I think you could have. He he really could have. At least that pass was caught. So now it's third and three. He leaves us a little bit of a chance in getting more of a chance of getting this first down, which we do need. You know, because we're kind of behind, you know, but... Ooh, he caught it! He's running! That was amazing! 38-yard gain. That's the biggest play I've seen in the game so far. That just set up a nice field goal, or a touchdown opportunity. And here's the throw! That was almost an interception. That was an, almost an interception. I think there is a capability of running here. None that I can see, anyway. That was a great catch, though. Nice first down. Now we're definitely in good shape of potentially getting a touchdown here and getting back into the lead. And here's another pass. Touchdown. And just like that, we are now, I do believe, yep, we're back in the lead. So I'm going to be a little of a butt and try to see. Again, I don't understand why I got sacked again when I'm trying to pass. I press the button to pass, but nope. I don't know what I just did there, but... Okay. Boom! Injury on the field. That hit him good. That really hurt them right there. So they are pinned down in, at their own 13-yard line. We're ahead by a couple of points, so... It's not necessarily... Looking bad for me, but it's certainly not looking comfortable. Especially if they make plays like that. Where they just get a big gain of yards and pretty much get a lot of breathing room that I really don't want them to have. But yeah, if you guys noticed, I am actually able to play both teams that are in the Super Bowl this year. Unlike before... Wow. Oh, it was the end of the half or the two-minute warning anyway, so here's hoping we can kind of here's hoping that they can be pushed back, so there's still an opportunity to uh, let the half end and thus oh, oh man that interception would have been wonderful like I said, the end of the half will probably mean that they'd have to start all over, either start all over again or we get the ball back, so That was an, almost an instant stop there. But yes, guys, if you haven't noticed, last year when we did um, pretty much what I've been calling SSF Bowl 1, don't ask, uh, what happened was, was because the Ravens weren't around in um, at the time of this game's release, what happened was, was I had to pick a different team, which was the Saints. Because I wanted to pick a team that was kind of on par with the actual team. And that was a poor pass. Um, but like I was saying, this year, however, um, both teams that are in the Super Bowl, the Broncos and the Seahawks, are, were actually around at the time of this game's release. Meaning, fortunately, uh, we can actually play as both of them. Um... Now, when it comes to the game, as I said, you know, the quarters are a bit shorter than what they technically are in the game. Oh, okay, that was the first sound I did not want them to get. Um, 
I try to make the Super, like, the, the game as close to the Super Bowl as possible. But there is going to be some differences, obviously. Including me not, you know, me not sucking for one thing. Um, them getting a first down that close to the end zone, not a good thing. Ooh, very nice sack there. Although they don't consider it a sack whatsoever. Uh, I'm going to try to get make sure the clock plays out as much as possible. So I want to make sure that they don't have a chance here. I do not want them to have any chance at all. So this is going to be close. This may or may not be the second to last play of the game. So if we can just stop them here. Nope, they didn't get in. they didn't get in. They did not get in. They're at the one yard line. And they called a timeout. Okay, so we made them waste a timeout. I think they are gonna get this touchdown though. Because they're on the one yard line. Unless I get that yes! Wonderful sack. That was needed. Very needed. And now they go and call another timeout. They are desperately trying to get these points. So they're going to go for a field goal instead. Which, who can blame them? So, we are now one point difference. This is more like a game I would have expected in the Super Bowl. This is kind of a close game. Um, do I think the score is going to be this high? Uh, I'd say it would be about this amount, to be honest. I think the final score could very well be at this amount. We got another high return, but I think that's the end of the half. Yes, it is. Now, do we get the ball back? I don't know, but that's the stats. I am going to keep the same score here because it seems to me like we're doing good. So, And indeed, we are going to be uh, passing the ball back to them. So... Unfortunately, they get the ball back. And once again, they get just slammed and pinned down. So, again, that's something I wanted to do. It's a one-point game, though. That's crazy. Defense. Donnie. Donnie, come on, people. I want to hear you cheering for me. Donnie. I don't even know if that was a yard. Yep, they gained one yard. One yard gain isn't bad. It, it's much worse if they were like fourth and one or third and one or at the end, like at the one yard line, you know, about to get a touchdown like earlier. But yeah, <laughs> gotta admit though that was quite a stop though. They were at the one yard line only to get sacked. That was quite a stop there. Fumble. Oh, he got away. That should not have been a first down. There is no excuse for that being a th first down. That should have been either us getting the ball or them getting it and just getting tackled almost immediately. Kind of like that. How That's how it should have happened. See, they lost yards again. So, that's that. Now, what are they trying to do here? They're trying to pull something. And it worked, unfortunately. Still, though, they are not doing as good as the previous... My opponents in the previous game were. You know, the Seahawks team I was going up against in the previous game, so... Because I'm actually having a fighting chance here. He just blocked that one tackle of mine. But he didn't get a first down, which is the important thing. Just the more you stop them, the better. Ready, set, put, put, right. Ooh! Come on, guys, get him. There you go. Five-yard loss. Another missed opportunity of him getting some kind of yards there. And it just means we get some breathing room again. Thank you. 
Oh, he caught the ball again. Oh my god, these first downs they keep getting are just painful. We need another interception. That interception we got early on was really good. Really good. Ooh! Bang! Another hit that they really... I really needed them to get. Them, those hits are really hurting them. It's keeping them back really well. Another big hit. Not as big though, considering they actually gained a couple yards, but still, it was quite a stop. And once again, they're stuck on third down, so... Up. Oh. How do they get these passes? A 27-yard gain, and now they're in the red zone. They just seem to get these lucky passes right on third down, like... I don't even. And I think that might... Nope. He didn't go straight forward like he could have. He just went slanted for some reason. So because of that, he got stopped. Ready, set, put. Put. Fight. Bam! There's a big sack. That was apparently a decent sack. I guess when he starts running is when it doesn't get counted as a sack. But when he's actually trying to pass... It becomes a sack. But either way, that sack was really needed. Unfortunately, they did get another first down. And there's a touchdown. He went through like two, three tackles there. So this is the point where I'd say screw the two-point conversions. I just need to stay in. Because even if I get a touchdown, I get a two-point conversion. I am not in good shape. <laughs> I'm still behind, you know. But, um... I need to maintain scores. Like, I need to keep scoring. Because I am not in good shape right now. I'm now behind the touchdown. So. I do need to get back into this. So, let's get this show on the road and try to get back in this. And that's a good way to start right there. 12 yard gain. See, the thing is, although the, their offense has been pushing forward, mine has been explosive. You know. Of course, you could always have these fucking interceptions screw me over on almost all the possessions. Once again. That was a knocked away interception, though, to be fair. But once again, I'm on fucking defense. You have no idea how tiring that is. Looks like, oh, they got a short loss. I've never even seen that be a thing. A short loss? That's new to me. I've not seen that before. How did he even catch that? How do they keep getting touch like first downs exactly when they need to? They've been stopped. How many plays have we stopped them where they got a loss or hardly anything? And then they just have that one play that gets them over. Kind of like that one. Where they just get nailed immediately. I just don't understand. I just don't understand. Thing is, though, is they still haven't been, like, it hasn't been easy for them. You know, they keep getting, like, these plays right here, they just haven't had an easy time getting, you know. The problem is, is I don't like the fact that they got an interception and are now about to get yet another touchdown. Fucking call it. 
it was out of bounds and first down, really? Which one was it then? Things. Why isn't my team getting any interceptions? Why are they getting interceptions? Boom. Another critical sack right at the end of the quarter, too. That's the thing, though. That, it's those defensive moves that we've been really doing good on. You know? That it's those types of plays that have been put, holding them back. Problem, though, is that this is the last quarter, and I am not in good shape right now. Okay, there was n that could have should have been a sack. Like right there is another reason. That's the only reason why they've gotten fr anywhere. It's because of those lucky passes. Like there, there's no way he should have been able to catch that, considering he was surrounded with traffic, and not to mention the quarterback was just about to get sacked. Like if he had not, like a split second more, he would have been down. There is no question. And again, he got another touch. They they got another touchdown, and of course it was all because of that interception too. And guess what? Now I'm behind by 14 points, but about to be uh, 15. But I, I still have yet to see anyone really. It, it's difficult to really get a. Uh, Point, uh, like a point after attempt blocked unfortunately it's pretty difficult I have yet to see that happen in this game damn I just can't get anywhere past the 30 yard line it seems but I will tell you one thing I really need some points here Okay, nice, nice first down there. I would like to get more of those. Because I need more of those. <laughs> That's not where I wanted to throw it, but it still worked out in the long run. Because I got another 17-yard gain, and I'm, now I'm starting to get down the field again. Slowly. Oh shit. Dude, why did you jump? Why didn't you keep running? You would have caught it in that case. But you decided to jump for some reason, like you're a defender. You're not defending. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, my team, man. There you go. Big time first down there, because I was on third down for that play. So now it is effectively red zone again. Let's see. For fuck's sake, I am so sick and tired of interceptions. Specifically interceptions right at the fucking end zone. Holy crap, seriously. So many wasted points I've had. And look at that, another sack. This could get interesting, though. If we can keep stacking, I think another sack or two, and you know what? It could be a safety. I mean, it's a little bit... Out of, like, a little bit impossible, considering, you know, it would take quite a few sacks, but... You know... Didn't tell me you got a 13-yard gain there for some reason. I can't really explain that. I just can't explain how these team this team keeps getting these kind of passes. I I just can't explain it. Cuz they shouldn't be. Our defense has been quite, you know, quite a 
a battle. And, like, we even had an interception before. But they keep getting plays like this, where they just seem to get the luckiest plays. And it just carries them. And that's how they even... That's how they, they've been getting the first downs. Those lucky passes. I just don't understand. I really would like to get an interception, though, at some point. That would be really nice. They've intercepted us three times already. I think four, actually. The good news, though, is that we got them on third down again. I just have to hope that we can stop them on this. But knowing them, they'll probably get the first down, like always. Nope. They got sacked. I at least it should have been a sack, but we're at the two-minute warning as well. So that sack was needed. As that pushes them back. That could have potentially been a miss a field goal tackling, but unfortunately they do get the field goal, which means their lead gets a little bit bigger, making it even more difficult to come back, because now I need a freaking... Look like I need a... About three touchdowns, and to do that in a minute, about two minutes, is going to be quite a feat, especially with the fucking interceptions that keep getting tackled on me. I don't know how that I always get tackled right at 30, every time. But, in any case, I need to get some long... I need to have some plays here. I need to quit the, it, with the incomplete passes. I need to quit with the freaking interceptions. I just need to get down the field and get the touchdown. Ready, set, green. 46. Ready. That's really the most important thing right now. Oh, for fuck. There went the game right there. Fuck the interceptions. I swear. I don't understand why I'm getting intercepted so much. And they aren't. What are they doing differently? I'm, I'm really getting sick and tired of inter being intercepted in almost every, like, almost every play. Like, I don't know what they want me to do. See, that should have been an interception right there. But they they just decided to knock it away while the like the other team said would go in for an interception. You know? An interception would be just wonderful right now. But they just seem to get the luckiest like they they just they've only gotten intercepted once. I don't even know if that went for a touchdown either. I I think it did. Again, another knock away instead of an interception. They're, they're just, they're focusing too much on knocking away instead of actually trying to get the ball compared to, like, the other team was trying to do. You know? Ready, set, put, put, they actually went for the field goal, so it's probably going to be good again, and it is. Because they just keep getting too close to the end zone. With that, I don't really know what else I can do here. I need three touchdowns, period. And that's going to be downright impossible. I mean, I can see myself getting one touchdown. That's it. Wow, that was actually nice. That actually went really well. I have not seen a 33-yard kickoff return before, so that was quite interesting. It's not going to mean jack shit, because odds are I'm probably going to get intercepted again at, during this play. Yep. Wh I f what did I tell you? I've been intercepted in every fucking play. I hate that. I think that's the only thing I hate about this game is that it's so easy to be intercepted for no reason. For no reason whatsoever. You never intercept them, they always intercept you. Because it seems like they that's all they do is try to get interceptions. I I 
I got another humiliating loss, and it stinks too because I was actually doing good in the first half. And it was going good for a while, but I guess on a positive note, it wasn't as much of a humiliating loss as before. I mean, where I, I lost by freaking 30 points. In this case, it was only 21, so... The thing is, despite all the sacks we got, they still managed to get far. Now we get an interception, finally. Look where we intercepted them, though. And look how much time we have left. I, I don't know how we're supposed to do this. And there went to the end of the half, so at least we got a 22-yard gain at the end. I guess there was that. But with that, guys, that's the end of the game. 33-12. to 12. Yeah, I, I don't know either, but that's how it went. Yeah, 21-point difference. 33 touchdowns, so it wasn't as bad as it could have been. Could have been four touchdowns, could have been five like the previous game. But yeah, there's still... I need to work on this trouble with the interceptions because they got half of their points by interceptions i still would have lost to be fair to be quite honest with you i still would have lost even if they hadn't had the interception even if i wasn't intercepted so much because i do believe they were ahead by a point or two um at one point so maybe even a, a whole touchdown i'm not sure but i know at the very least that half of the, that score they got would have been nullified if it weren't for that uh, those interceptions. But yes, guys, look at all the sacks I got on them though. Four sacks? Oh yeah. Um, why did they say I got two sacks though? We got we didn't even get intercepted as much either. As far I can, I got intercepted a lot more in the previous one. I got intercepted I think six nine times. This time it was only six. So and I got tur less turnovers as well. So this game definitely went better. But it wasn't until I actually get a win. Yeah. But in any case, there you guys go. That is this year's SF Bowl, I guess, as a way to celebrate this year's Super Bowl Sunday. If you want my opinion, I'm rooting for the Broncos, because honestly, I don't feel like the Seahawks. In this, just like the Seahawks here, I think they are a bit lucky, you know. But a bit lucky in their uh, fortunes, but. I think the Broncos are a good team. I think it's going to be a close game. going to be quite an enjoyment to watch. But, yes, guys, that is it for me. I will see you guys, hopefully, next week for the continuation of... Um, hopefully, I will actually get back to my normal scheduling. But, in any case, that is it with me. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. But for now, this is Seth signing out. Sayonara, guys.